Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're doing kind of an on the job kind of a deal, uh, except this is not me at work. I am working here um, at my house, but we are going to be setting up this LED um, setup here. I'll show you more in a second, but basically um, the organization I work for requested that there's more light for a certain event. So I'm putting together a pixel LED strip um, that will provide more warm wash light for people um, speaking. So uh, that's what we're going to do today. I have no sponsors for this video, but I do want to thank PCB Way for sending over some stuff in the past. They were really great to work with. So uh, check PCB Way out if you need any 3D printing, CNC, um, that kind of stuff. So yeah, let's take a look at what we got going on here today. So we have this cheap 5 volt power supply from Amazon. It's literally USB. I feel like it's going to catch on fire, but it's from Amazon. It should be fine. We have a WT32 ETH01 controller. This is what I use for all of my LED projects. We actually have a 24 volt power supply. We have this project box, which all the controllers and power supplies will be um, inside of. This box looks rather large, but I'm hoping to add some kind of relay unit or fuse uh, because this could be near water. Um, more on that later. We have some LED diffusers that are one foot each uh, in their included mounting hardware. Finally, we have this BTF lighting LED strip that's 24 volts um, and it is a 360 LED per meter. It's a Cobb LED strip which means you don't see the individual LEDs on it. But interestingly enough, this is pixels. So I don't know how many pixels there are to control, but it is a pixel LED strip. Looks like we got some extra wire as well with this one, which is a nice to have. Um, and some mounting hardware from what it looks like as well. So basically we're going to be powering the controller over five volt, powering the LEDs over 24 volt. I'm gonna show you how to do that here with different voltages as well. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So like I said, this is the 24 volt power supply that is just for the LEDs themselves. All right, so I'm gonna get this unwired. I'm going to cut off the barrel jack. I'm gonna get a rough setup for power. Um, and once we figure out power, then I will get the controller all hooked up and we'll go from there. Okay, so I'm now flashing the software onto the controller. As you can see, the lights are flickering on the uh, USB to UR adapter, uh, and it says it has failed to initialize. Now, if you're curious on how I'm doing this, uh, make sure to check out my guide. I actually have a separate video on that. Um, I'm going to troubleshoot this real quick. I'm guessing I have the pins backwards or something, but check out that guide if you're curious how to flash the software onto the LED controller. Okay, so I have the wires on to the board now. Don't ask me why I soldered them to the bottom. I honestly don't know. It would have made much more sense for me to solder them to the top. I guess I just had it like mounted and I was just doing that. But um, now that that is done, I can start wiring up the power for this device. This, like I said, is going to be getting five volt power. And basically all we need to send to the actual LEDs is the ground, so there we go, is the data line right here and then the ground line right here. So I believe the ground can be shared between the 24 volt power supply and my five volt power supply. So I'm going to get that all wired up here and let's go. Okay, so I have everything wired up and plugged in. I wanted to, the whole purpose of this video was to show you how simple this stuff can be. Um, I feel like a lot of the times people get caught up in how complicated it all is. Um, but really, it's just the 24 volt power supply that's feeding uh, these two Wego connectors right here um, and feeding the power to the LED strip. Then it is a ground connecting that system over to the 5 volt system. So the 5 and 24 volt systems are grounded together. Um, this is allowed to be done because this is all DC voltage. So these two share a common ground, essentially. Basically then from the five volt system, we're just feeding this little controller here. Um, that's outputting this green data line that is fed right into this connector that these LEDs will then connect to. So I have actually chopped off some of the wires on these because we don't need them, but um, I'm going to now do a demonstration of how bright these LEDs are. I had no idea how bright they'd actually be. Um, they are extremely bright. My eyes are still doing like the burning thing. So we're going to plug these in. And as you can see, the camera won't even focus on how bright these lights are. They are absolutely bright. Um, but it is a perfect skin color in my opinion. This will be really good for lighting someone up. Um, it's really fantastically bright. Um, these things get real warm too. Um, so I'm trying to be careful with leaving them bundled up like that. Um, in terms of WLED, um, in the software, I have them set to white like this, the screen didn't update. I have them set to white, as you can see here, and they are at full brightness here. So because they are just 
one channel lights on each LED. Um, if you do just blue or whatever, it'll skip every three LEDs. Like every, all the third LEDs will be on if you have blue, red, green, etc. So you have to have them all on together. Um, that way you can still have pixel control over them, but um, they are separated into their individual lights since each light is just um, white. It is not red, green, or blue. It is just single white on each one. So I'm going to unplug this before I'm blinded. So yeah, that is about it for this video, guys. I'm not gonna be able to show too much of the setup of this. Uh, like I said, I just have these LED diffusers here. Um, those will work pretty well. I still need to drill a hole in here for ethernet, but that is also pretty simple. I just wanted to show you um, how simple this really is to set up. So if you have any questions about this kind of wiring with two different voltages running to the LEDs, let me know. Um, it gets a lot more complicated when you have more LED outputs. Um, if you need more outputs, you will just solder more outputs onto the controller and connect more connectors like this to your 24 volt system only, not your five volt system. And then you'll get data inserted into each line. Um, and that's pretty much the extent that you'll need to go for that. But, um, if you have, like I said, if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to help you. Um, WLED is an amazing software in this application. We are actually going to be using DMX input over SACN or streaming ACN. This is what is going to feed the LEDs that we can control from the lighting software um, present in the building. So that is about all. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was informational. I will see you in the next video.